guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog, or welcome if you're new. I am currently in the car right now with Chad, and we're heading to Trader Joe's, and I am so excited. We never ever go to Trader Joe's because there wasn't one near us for the longest time, but now we finally have one that's not too far away, so we're going to Trader Joe's, and I'm very excited. I actually just posted on Instagram asking you guys for all of your recommendations, like your favorite Trader Joe's stuff, so I can try some fun stuff. at Trader Joe's and it was so busy in there you guys it was literally packed so we tried to be really quick and I didn't even get to look at all of the recommendations that everyone had sent me on Instagram but I did get a few like good staples and I'll just show you guys when I get home because I can't remember everything but we got cookie butter of course which I've had that before and it's amazing I got the cauliflower gnocchi I got the Trader Joe's version of Takis because someone told me to try those and then what else did we get we got the orange chicken and a bunch of other like random things that we tried but those were definitely some of the staples that people recommended um, but Chad is in Walmart right now and he was nice enough to let me wait in the car because I really didn't want to go inside so I'm just hanging out in the car waiting for him and I'm drinking my Alani new energy drink this is the cosmic stardust it's pretty good I think I like the mimosa one the best but I just need a little afternoon pick-me-up so I'm drinking that. We are back home and I wanna do a Trader Joe's haul and just show you guys everything that we ended up getting. So we're trying a bunch of new stuff and then a lot of this was stuff that you guys recommended. So I got some multi-grain waffles. No one recommended this. I just wanted some waffles, it sounded good. And then Chad got this chicken tikka masala, little frozen meal. I didn't even realize he grabbed this. And then Chad also got these chicken breast nuggets. So these are just little breaded chicken nuggets. And then we got this cheese pizza that has cauliflower crust. And this I'm super excited about because so many people recommended the mandarin orange chicken. And we're probably gonna make this like next week or something with rice and like some broccoli. I don't know, it just sounds amazing. Like a really easy meal too. And then we got mashed cauliflower. So we're going to have this with our dinner tonight. And we just got a rotisserie chicken from Publix to go with it. And then I got the cauliflower gnocchi, the famous cauliflower gnocchi that everybody talks about. So I got that and then got some baby carrots and then we're about to get to the uh, very unhealthy section. Um, we got these cookie butter cookies that apparently are so amazing. The cashier was telling us so good. And then I got regular cookie butter because this is just super yummy. And then someone recommended these tortilla chips, chili and lime rolled things. They're kind of like Takis. Chad got peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets and he also got the hickory barbecue potato chips. We got some maple syrup. We got some little mandarin oranges, some bananas, uh, some of these mango chunks. They just look so yummy. I love mango and I love when it's like already cut up like this. I'm so much more likely to eat it when it's cut up like this because I like convenience. And then I got blueberries and I got two of their yogurts. This one is just strawberry. And then this one is a flavor that I've never heard of, pineapple kiwi in a yogurt. Just sounded so good. We also got some of this coffee. Well, Chad got it. You guys know I use my Nespresso, but Chad likes to do pour over coffees. So we got this. And then we got this multi-grain rustico bread. It just looked delicious. And then we got two wines. So Chad got this red wine. This is a Cabernet. And then I found this yummy almond flavored sparkling wine and almond flavored wine is like my absolute favorite but it's so hard to find so i thought i'd give that a try it was pretty cheap too so i'm hoping it's going to be amazing and it'll just be my go-to but that is everything that we got at trader joe's so i'm gonna go ahead and put all this away now a little bit later and i got my boxy charm in the mail and i thought i would do a little unboxing and show you guys what i got this month i upgraded to the boxy charm lux this month because they had like a deal going on where you could get it extremely discounted and i've been super happy with boxy charm the last several months just doing the regular one like i've been so excited about all the products i've been trying and 
it's just been like so worth it to me because it really feels like the products are worth it. Like I look it up on Sephora and it'll end up being like 30 or $40 for the product, which is less than what I paid for the whole box. So it's pretty cool. I already ripped this open, obviously. Like I literally opened everything. I was very excited. So I got these vitamin C face masks by Rail Beauty and these look awesome. I love that they're free from all of these harmful ingredients, which just makes me feel so much better about using it. Whenever I'm shopping for skincare products, Products, I really do try to pick the ones with safer ingredients and I already opened this up and it literally has five sheet masks in it you guys like that was amazing because I love sheet masks I literally collect them like it's a hobby and it also came with this B flat belly firming cream or firming belly cream um so I don't know anything about this or this brand or if it works Will I try it? Probably. I don't know if it actually works. It says that it improves cellulite appearance and minimizes the appearance of stress marks. So there's that. And then it also came with this eyeshadow by the brand Bar Barbarella, which I am not familiar with this brand, but the eyeshadow colors are super pretty. I'll open it and show you guys. It's like really pretty neutrals with like this random blue. Everything else is neutral. I'm very uh, shocked by the random blue. And then it came with this lip liner by the brand Dominique, another brand I'm not familiar with, but like look at the color, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then this was the product that I was absolutely most excited about. It's a hyaluronic serum and hyaluronic acid is so good for your skin. Ever since I started using hyaluronic acid in my skincare every single day, I've been like really happy with how my skin looks. And this is just Glow Recipe and you know, their like products are just so aesthetic. I love their packaging, so I cannot wait wait to try this out and then the other thing that I'm also super excited about already ripped it out of the box and so I can't even show you guys like the box that it actually came in um, but it's this Ole Henriksen fat glow facial which this I have actually heard things about so I'm very very pumped to try I'm probably gonna try this tonight because I think I'm gonna take a bath after dinner or something and maybe give this a try so it says it's like a 15 minute face mask but I've heard that like this makes your whole face glow after you use it. So I'm very pumped. I can't believe I got this. I like this brand a lot too. I actually use their face wash in the morning because it smells like tangerines. It's the orange one. And then the last two things are this SOS Tower 28 facial spray. Again, another brand I'm not familiar with, but excited to find and discover new brands and then this i thought was really cool it's actually like a hair product it's a mini heat brush by the brand salil so i thought that was kind of cool i don't know if i'll end up using this because i just use a straightener for my hair but i will probably save this um as part of my giveaway whenever i hit 100k i've been like honestly loving doing boxycharm so i end up saving a lot of products if it's not something i definitely want to try out uh to add into a giveaway for you guys we're about to eat dinner. I want to show you guys what we're having tonight. So this is that uh, cauliflower or mashed cauliflower that we got. It looks like mashed potatoes. I'm very excited to try it. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. And then we're having broccoli and rotisserie chicken. And then Chad got these rolls. So we're going to have these with it. Just finished dinner and I'm filling up the bath now. And I'm actually going to do this glow facial mask. And I'm so excited to try it. So I'll let you guys know what I think. I think it's really cool that it says as you massage it, it's going to turn pink. No, it's going to turn from pink to white. So... I'm gonna do that now. Well, it has definitely transformed from pink to white, as you can see. Feels super thick and like moisturizing. It feels interesting, but I really like it. So I'm gonna let this sit on my face and I'm gonna hop in the bath and relax and let my worries wash away. I love taking baths and like I can only ever do it when my self tanner is starting to wear off. And actually it doesn't look that bad. It's gonna look bad after this bath though. Um, but because of my tattoo, I can't spray tan this week. So I'm like, you know, I might as well take advantage of it and just take a nice bath. Probably take a lot of baths this week. <laughs> Well, I am in bed now and I'm just waiting for Chad to finish showering and shaving and then we are going to 
have our book time. We've been reading every night again. We like took a break from it for a while and now we're back into it. And I'm so happy because I am about to start a new book. So I got this book a while back. I think I mentioned it in a vlog and I was so excited. I wasn't even trying to find a book. Chad was actually trying to find a book and then I saw this and it looked really good. So I got it. It's called It's Always the Husband. Let me know if you guys have read this. It just looked amazing. I read the back and I was like, oh, I have to get that. But it took me forever to finish my last book and I'm finally about to start this one. So I'm really excited. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update on the face mask. I absolutely loved it. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. It made my skin feel really good and I don't have any makeup on right now and I feel like my skin is just soft. It almost feels like it exfoliated my skin without the harshness of exfoliating your skin, you know? So I really liked it. And then I also wanted to tell you guys my opinions on the mashed cauliflower from Trader Joe's. I didn't really like it. Chad said it was pretty good, but I felt like it was like a 3 out of 10. And mostly because of the consistency. Like the taste was not bad at all, but it was very runny and chunky. So like kind of like a cottage cheese or something and that just grossed me out. So I would not get that again. But I'm excited to try all the other stuff that we got from Trader Joe's. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video.